everybody, we're back. Dr. Z, self-care secrets. Yeah, yeah, self-care secrets. You want to know what our secret for today is? Lay it on me. Self, ex- self-care through self-expression. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So a lot of people, I don't think they really understand what self-expression is. So I got a definition here for you. Okay. So self-expression is the act of expressing your thoughts, emotions, ideas, or individuality through various forms of communication. Okay. And that can be through words, art, fashion, or behavior. Probably a lot more, huh? Yeah, yeah. And allowing yourself to express your unique identity and your inner world. So actually, this is a way to develop greater connection, actually, with others. Really? Yeah. How so? Yeah. So we so we think about self-care and even self-expression mm-hmm. as an individual act. And it is individual. Like some of the connections of self-care and self-expression include emotional release. Mm -hmm. So self-expression provides a healthy outlet to express your emotions. Okay. And then also self-awareness. Self-expression often involves introspection and self-reflection that's important for Mm self-awareness. And then also stress reduction. Engaging in self-expression activities, art, writing, or journaling, Mm -hmm. or other forms, dance, painting, that can actually reduce stress. Mm. Yeah. So we see how self-expression and self-care go together. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to look at it in a bigger context. How so? Well, in terms of connect connection with others mm-hmm. and actually utilizing self-expression to create an impact in the world. Mm. Going big picture. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think because we normally think about self-expression as um, suppressing emotions. You know, yeah. if you've got little kids and... Like you were, you were saying, remember, you used to sing really loud, you used to enjoy singing. Yeah. And then you had. Still do. And you still do. And, but yet somebody said, oh, you're being so loud. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can have a kid who's maybe loud or outgoing or just, you know, running all over the place. And if somebody else doesn't particularly like that, then they can suppress that and they can suppress it to such a degree that that person actually loses touch. Yeah, second grade people never forget it. <laughs> I don't remember the the nun's name, but she yelled okay. at me for singing too loud. Mm-hmm. I'm in second grade, but yeah. you know, it was a different world back then. Yeah, yeah. And just think about all the great um, singers that we have now. Maybe you could have been, you know. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had somebody suppressed that. Yeah. And so that is the power of self-expression. And I wanted to kind of talk about this, and it might be a little bit esoteric. A little out there, huh? <laughs> A little out there. <laughs> but if you think about life or reality as a puzzle, mm-hmm. then the way that we understand and talk about this puzzle is through language. Okay. And so language is a means that we use to describe things. So I like to use the word table. So naturally, you and I are sitting at a table. So we're actually thinking about table in terms of furniture. Yeah. But somebody else could also use the word table, and it could mean a periodic table, you know, in chemistry. Okay. Or it could be a negotiation table in politics, Mm -hmm. or it could even be a table of contents as in a book. Yeah. 
So self-expression is kind of a similar thing. Somebody could put something out there, but then other people have the freedom to interpret it the way that they choose. Mm -hmm. And so that is how um, I use ChatGPT to kind of ask the question, how does self-expression or how does individual self-expression actually, can it impact or even change the world? Okay. And it came up with some interesting ideas. So as we were just talking about artistry or even singing or painting, mm -hmm. it actually said through various forms of art, such as literature, dance, or even painting, individuals can express their unique perspectives and emotions. And these creations can evoke emotions, challenge societal norms, mm -hmm. and even change the way people view the world. Yeah. Then it yeah, also... look at Gandhi, for example. Yeah. You know, Gandhi, for those of you that are not familiar with Gandhi, be the change. Mm -hmm. By making that statement, yeah. that statement has lasted, will last a lifetime because it's just so iconic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they even talked about fashion. You know, the way that we choose to, to dress is a form of self-expression and it can influence fashion trends and even challenge traditional beauty standards. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know? And so it just shows the value of everything that we bring to the table. Like sometimes people don't necessarily appreciate culture. You know, if it's different than the dominant culture, mm -hmm. right? But yet there's a lot of value in our individual cultural experiences mm. that somebody else may not even appreciate because it's different or it's foreign. Mm -hmm. But yet that can also be a source of greater connectivity. So it makes me think about there was a woman who had a business. Um, oh, no, she was she was evaluating a business and okay. she noted that the business was actually in a neighborhood that was predominantly um, Hispanic. Okay. But yet when she went in to look at the business itself, there was none of the literature was in Spanish. Okay. None of the employees <laughs> were or Hispanic or okay. Latina. And um, obviously none of the artwork. So, you know, if when you think about it in that terms, it's like, wow, they really were out of touch. But in terms of the culture of that business, they weren't even aware. They didn't even see what was missing. <laughs> and so that is often the beauty of self-expression is that many times we ourselves are not because we're it's like we have a blind spot and we may not even realize our blind spot right mm -hmm. until we actually see that like somebody presents that to us to our worldview through their own self-expression mm -hmm as a form of language or even communication or visibility, raising our visibility. So that was, well, that was fashion language. You know, both of us speak German. Yeah. I, I never would have even, I happen to just pick German. I don't really know why I, 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 uh, I just thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. But then when I really started to study the language, obviously then there was more um, understanding of the culture and then obviously the history. And so 
it's amazing how just starting off with learning a new language opened up my eyes and my worldview to so much more. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. And then I even kept challenging um, chat GPT, you know, I'm like, okay, give me more ideas. How can um, self-expression impact um, the world? Mm -hmm. And it talked about um, travel, you know, individual travel experiences can inspire others to explore new places and cultures, mm -hmm. technology. Um, they, they even talked about um, entrepreneurship and business innovation, which, mm. which actually makes sense, right? Entrepreneurs express their unique business ideas and approaches leading to the creation of new products, services, and industry, ultimately influencing the economic landscape, gender and identity expression. Yeah, you see that all the time. Just recently, I was on a call learning German. We have this Somebody was talking about food trucks and food trucks are everywhere here. And this is over in Europe somewhere. And it was interesting how that has now made it over there. And then you got things that, you know, people from this country will travel abroad and they'll bring back things and yeah. it goes back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And, and I like to think about the fact of, um, they were just, I was reading a book and they were just talking about how like in the early 1900s, did they have telephones then? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know if they had telephones then. But it was amazing how before telephones, people, you know, had to have like the messenger systems and things like that. But yet the capability to create the telephone was already there yeah and people just had to figure out how to utilize those resources to develop that thing mm -hmm. the same thing with cars you know previous in former times i remember how long ago you know having a car was just for the ultra wealthy and now you know majority of people have have a car yeah. or have access to an automobile mm -hmm. and the capability to create the car has always been here and it just took someone's ingenuity and people's ingenuity to start putting two and two together to create what we have now so it makes you think what else is there mm -hmm. that's a possibility to be created that we haven't even thought about yet. Yeah. Like AI, look at chat GPT and AI and all yeah. that stuff. It's like the next big wave of what's new mm -hmm. and different mm -hmm. and changing the world. Yeah. And it all starts with individual self-expression. So I just wanted to just share how powerful self-expression is, not just in terms of self-care, and living that true, um, authentic, value-driven perspective mm -hmm. for your own life, but also how your um, authenticity and being congruent mm -hmm. with who you are and what truly matters to you actually impacts other people yeah they see that in you they see your passion they see your commitment they see your authenticity or not or not <laughs> <laughs> or not people people pick up on that stuff yeah it's incredible yeah. how powerful we are so yeah so that's kind of what i've got for t today it's just to encourage people to be their authentic self okay we're gonna leave it there that's the lesson you be you people <laughs> and as always thank, thank you, you in advance. advance just thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing yeah just think
thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing yeah yeah with thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing yeah with thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing yeah i was thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing